Are you tired of sounding like this? But you would rather sound like this? Then watch this video lesson. Hi, I'm Derek. And in this video lesson, I will help you to spice up your hi-hat playing when you're playing a double-handed hi-hat. Okay, let's get started with the basic groove. And what we are playing is alternating strokes on the hi-hat and the standard kick drum or bass drum and snare drum pattern. Now let's add one accent to the hi-hat pattern and we're accenting the first 16th note and the rest of the notes or strokes stay in the lower volume level, okay? So only the hi-hat sounds like this. Now together with the bass drum and snare drum. So maybe this is a hi-hat pattern most of you know. But now let's shift the accent to the second 16th note so you play an accent with your left hand. Now together with the bass drum snare drum pattern. Now let's play the accent on the third 16th note, so the end of the beat. Directly with uh, the bass drum snare drum pattern. And now position number four, so again with the left hand. And of course you can go on with two accent combinations, so the first and second sounds like this. Number two and three. Uh, three and four. And so on and on. So try different combinations, practice them, okay? So what you now can do is to play a short height opening on the accent. So the first one sounds like this. So when you play the snare drum, there's no possibility of course to open the hi-hat. The same with second and third position and now demonstration of beat number four. Now the next step is to play the unaccented strokes as double stroke rolls, okay? Like The same, for example, with the last or the fourth 16th note. So the next step is to start improvising with the sounds and accents. And I would recommend to start with the accents, okay? So that you don't have too much things going on at the same time. So what I'm doing is to play a short improvisation with only the hi-hat accents. Do 
this also with the height openings and the rolls and of course try it with more advanced beats between bass drum and snare drum. Maybe you pick a drum book, pick out one groove, doesn't have to be a double handed hi-hat groove but you can uh, play this on top of this groove and then start to put all these different uh, sounds and accents into this groove and after a while start to improvise complete freely. So you're improvising with the high accents, the opening, with the bass drum, snare drum and so on and on. And uh, yeah, I will close this video with a little improvisation and I hope you got something out of this lesson and hope to see you next time. Goodbye!